most key things that we would be watching for as the morning unfolds because this situation is deteriorating just a little bit. When you add in limited visibility with temperatures dropping, that could have big implications on the roadways. If you're just at home, it's just a fun snow, but if you're on the roadways, it could prove to be a little hazardous. So we want you to be very, very careful. If you look towards the center of your screen, this is the roadway here. You can see a few lights of the cars there, but that snow is really coming down at a high rate of speed, and that's why the visibility looks so limited. It's not because it's necessarily foggy outside. It's just this is the look that the sky has when snow is falling. 32 now in Gadsden. It's 33 in Tuscaloosa. Now below freezing in Birmingham, which means that most anything that falls from the sky will start accumulating. Although the roadway is still staying a little bit on that warmer side, concrete has the tendency to capture a little bit more of that heat. And even if that the concrete stays a little warmer, we could see the grass dropping below the freezing mark much more easily. So that's why we would likely see the branches, the trees, if you look towards the middle of your screen, looks like a little bit of a winter wonderland there. Now, in general, top of the BJCC is white anyways. It doesn't, this is not indicative of completely covered with snow. Snow is adding on top of that. And then as we look back towards the roadways, you'll notice there's not really any accumulation on the roads. I'm glad to see, though, it looks like the cars are taking it a little bit more cautiously. So if you do have to be out on the roadways, just take it easy, folks. Here's what we're looking at. All of that rain has completely converted to snow across all of central Alabama. Heavier pockets of snow from Anniston all the way back through parts of Shelby County down into Clanton into Perry County. And we're looking at the only, only place not seeing any snow right now. I am so sorry, Hamilton. You are completely clear right now. Now the sky is cloudy, but as far as the snowfall, you're not getting it. But the snow is picking up a little bit in Double Springs over towards Coleman as well. If you happen to be southbound, Alex Alexander City, Lake Martin, still dealing with the rain, and that likely will start to change over to snow here very shortly as this cold air continues to dive southward. Because of the worsening conditions for some, and really when we say that, it's for the roads. It's not necessarily overall. This isn't an ice storm. This isn't something where we're going to lose power. This is not a situation where we're going to be trapped in our homes for several days. None of those variables are included. This is really just a inconvenient roadway conditions. Winter storm warning has now been in, in place. It was a winter weather advisory late last night, early this morning. This warning went out, and now it does include Tuscaloosa, Jefferson counties, all the way to the Georgia state line, back into Mississippi. So just keep a watchful eye out for that. And as I mentioned, I mean, we're talking the difference of just a few miles where this line of snow and rain is. Now the snow is beginning to move into Montgomery. And it's not that the snow is moving into Montgomery. What's really happening is the cold air is moving in, and it's forcing the change over from the rain that's currently falling to snow. So I, I need to be careful with my words because we're not really seeing snow moving into certain areas as though it's moving from one place to another, but we're really seeing the changeover of that saturated air mass. Some of it falling in, falling in the liquid state of water, some falling in more of the uh, frozen or solid state of snow. All right, and here's why. We have this conveyor belt of rain moving out of the Gulf. That's providing plenty of wet weather for South Alabama. Then you bring in this cold air from the north. That cold air is again what's changing over that liquid rain into snow. And this is actually a very common setup for snow. What's fairly uncommon is that it's a little earlier in the season than we generally expect. But this is what I would really call kind of a textbook setup. You get this area of uh, rain down to your south and you get that cold air from the north. And that's why I've had a lot of emails asking, well, why isn't there snow to our north? Generally thinking, maybe common sense would suggest that the snow, it's colder to our north, so that's where the snow would form. But the dynamics to get snow in the south are a little bit different. So this setup is not uncommon, but what's uncommon is more or less the calendar date. Uh, so here's a look at temperatures right now. This is again one of those other variables we're looking at. 29 in Coleman right now, low 30s from Cleveland to Moody, 31. It's below freezing in Birmingham. 32 is the freezing mark. You have 33 in Alabaster right now, so getting close to that. And as this snow falls, it's actually going to cool the atmosphere around it. That's why we're noticing those temperatures dropping just a bit. And with those temperatures dropping, at this point, accumulation is happening. It's not even that we're going to suggest if it's likely or not likely. It is happening. Now it's a matter of, are we going to see an inch, two inches? 
three inches. So here's a look at where we could see some of those bullseye spots. East Alabama really in for some heavier snowfall. We could see upwards of an inch and a half, two inches in the Birmingham metro, even up towards half an inch to an inch up in Colmem. So that's what we're watching for is the accumulation totals to be increasing. Visibility is becoming a bit more difficult in spots where the snowfall is heavier. Roadways are going to be very slick, so be careful out there. Plus, we're going to have some hazardous conditions on bridges and overpasses. That's what freezes first. And then black ice. So today, if and when temperatures reach, uh, I would say mid 30s in some spots, there could be some melting that occurs, but there will be some refreezing as well as temperatures overnight tonight will dive back into the 20s. So we need to be very careful tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, though, the sun's back. Temperatures rebound into the 40s, so all that snow that we're dealing with today will be gone tomorrow. So the kiddos need to enjoy it while they can. Build as many snowmen as they can. have as many, have, Play in the snow. Have those snowball fights as long as you want today. And as long as we stay off the roadways, this is going to be just a pretty day to enjoy some snow that we don't get all that often here in central Alabama. That's a